what started the linoleum cutting uh, was people had told me for years and years that my style of work would translate really well to that medium to lino cuts and wood cuts and screen printing, printing um, of all kinds, really. But, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Um, and I, I always love German Expressionism, um, and they use that a lot. Uh, and then, last, I never really tried it because uh, I was so focused on painting and I never really stepped out of that realm. Um, last year while I was in Charleston, um, I started doing these ink, <laughs> I started doing these late night sessions, um, cause I couldn't sleep, so I started doing these really quick, easy ink and watercolor drawings, um, and was just having fun with that, but then I really enjoyed it, um, and I feel like it helped me grow as an artist, um, helped my line out. Uh, so I, I kind of stepped out and had fun, so I wanted to keep trying new things. Um, I came back to Statesville, and I had worked with Rolidio Cabo for years. Um, he's the head of the Arts Council in Statesville, in Nardale County. He's uh, a professor at the local college, and he also uh, is the figurehead of the, of the gallery down there, New South Gallery. So he works a lot with prints, and I always loved his work, and I started talking to him about it. Um, and also, my art protege, Ian Miller, I started working with him. He's a young artist from Statesville. And he worked with him as well, and encouraged me um, to, to try, try that out. So I finally, um, finally did it. Um, just got a, I was in, um, it was, I was back visiting in Charleston actually, and I went to the local art supply store there, which I love. Um, and so I went downtown there, picked up a couple of different size linoleum pieces and brought them back home and started working on them. I really had so much fun with them, and they were right, the people who had always told me, like, my style really does translate really well to those mediums. Um, so, I started doing the, the line of cuts, um, and I've only done four or five so far, but, but, man, they're so much fun, um, and, and they come out, I think they're coming out well so far. Why David Lynch? I mean, I've always enjoyed David Lynch's films, um, Obviously, I'm a fan of pop culture. I'm a fan of weirdness. Um, too Weird to Live, Too Rare to Die, which isn't David Lynch, but is uh, kind of how I like life. Um, it, his image is so strong, and so it really translates well to that medium. And he kind of does, like, going back to the German Expressionists, like those kind of um, icons of German Expressionism, he, almost, he could fit, totally fit into that world. Another reason I got into the line of cuts is because my mom just had recently passed away and we were going through her stuff in a building in a house, like she just had so much stuff. Um, and I found several boxes of her art supplies that she had packed away for years. And in one of the boxes was a bunch of carving tools and a few lino pieces um, and a bunch of ink. So talk, I'd been talking about it and then that stuff, I just happened to find it and it was kind of perfect timing and I put it all together and started, uh, started doing it. My brother can't say aluminum. I think it's hereditary.